What's up guys? Welcome back for another one on the $500 jet ski. We're going to finish disassembling this uh, engine. So first things first, I'm going to take a four millimeter uh, Allen and get this oil pump off or at least attempt to. So get these, I believe there's two Allens that hold this on. Let me get those two out and I'll show you what the gear that drives the oil pump. Take a pair of needle nose and start working your gear out of there. It can be a little bit of a fight. There's a flat spot that holds the gear in. I believe if I rotate this crank, I thought it would push it out for me, it won't. There you go guys, just rotate the crank a little bit. And there's the gear that drives your oil pump. So let me go in the house and get some more bags and bag and tag all that stuff. And then I'll show you how we get this block opened up and get the jugs off. Okay, next up, I forgot to mention in my indexing video, I put a couple wood shims underneath here to bring this up. So I can put the degree wheel on it. Take, rotate the motor down. We gotta get the mounting plate off of it. Uh, there's gonna be these two bolts. Looks like four bolts here. I'm guessing 14 or 15 millimeters. Let me get my impact set up and I'll give you the exact socket you're gonna need. These are gonna be 16 millimeter. Now be careful when you get the last one out, that motor is going to want to fall. So I have to figure something out. I am using a deep well to get in here. See the motor wants to rotate on me. There are lock washers on these too, so you know guys. There we go. Guess that wasn't the best way to do it, but that worked. Okay. Get this motor plate out of here. This has got to go in the parts washer. Just gonna set it on the ground. All right, next thing. Gotta get these studs out for the reeds. I'm just gonna use vice grips. I'm not reusing these. Pull these studs. I could have done it before. I just didn't do it that way. They'll, they'll get loose for you real easy. Like I said, you could double nut them to back them out. I'm not worried about damaging them. I'm replacing all these. Let me get those out and we'll split the case. Or we'll get the jugs off, I mean, then we'll split the case. All right, now that those studs are out, rotate your motor up. Starting to get a little bit lighter each time. Set her up on your bench. Get yourself a long extension. These are gonna be 14 millimeter nuts for the jugs. Back them all out, and we'll pull the jugs off. So I'll do it off camera, I'll finish getting these all off, and I'll show you pulling the jugs. All right, I got the jug nuts off. Now you're going to have to work them loose. Kind of wiggle them back and forth. They're stuck on with the gasket, obviously. Throw your crank indexer thing you made out. Get that off there. And once you work them loose, just pull them up. Gaskets are going to be junk on these anyway. As you can see, the pistons are junk, so I'm not really worried about tearing anything up here. The only thing I don't want to damage is the rods, and you're not going to do that doing this unless you get a big dead blow hammer or something on here. So, there we go, guys. It's all three jugs off. I'm going to have to take a real good look at the inside of these. I know this one's shot. I'm hoping this other one's savable with a hone. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on here, guys, for you. Um, with running a hone in these and everything like that. I think I can get away with saving this rear one. There's no deep gouges at all. And the middle one was in good shape. So, obviously, that'll just get honed. All right, next up, gotta get the uh, wrist pin clips out. They're in here on the side. I'll show you. Let me get some tools and we'll get them out. Since this is just disassembly and we got new pistons coming, I'll push my connecting rod pin back. And you'll see right here, I'll take a pick and I'll work up. I sometimes put my thumb over here. You can see I got the, the, um, the clip 
and I'll take a pair of needle nose. I don't have to worry about tearing these up because I got all new. You gotta watch it, they'll fly off on you. And there you go. And then you'll push from the other side. Sometimes you're gonna have to take something and drive these out, uh, like a socket or an extension. Actually, an extension worked perfect. Push them out. You might have to gently tap on them easily. Don't be bending your rods up. You gotta kinda work at them. They will come out. Uh, we'll get a lightweight little leather hammer is good for this. This can be a real bugger, guys. So, just gotta work at it. Don't go too aggressive, like I said, don't bend your rod. And just work it out of there. Extension worked really good on this one, guys. And there you go. It'll come out. This piston's junk anyway. And then it'll be your connecting rod bearing right here, your rod bearing. And I'll show you when we reassemble everything exactly how I do it. So I'm going to get the rest of these out, the rest of these wrist pin clips out, that's what they're called. And then I'll show you how we get the crank out. I want to give you guys a better example on the center piston. I got a 3 8 extension right here. Seems to work really good on these. I do have to get the other um, wrist pin clip out. So what I'll do is I'll take my pick and I'll just rotate it by pushing carefully to where I can get to it and pop it up out of the groove and once I get it popped up out of the groove I'll take my needle nose and pull it out I got to get both sides out in order to use the 3 8 extension to get this out of here don't worry if that one falls down you're going to be taking the crankcase apart what I want to show you guys on this second one is when you're tapping on this, try to support that piston so you're not banging on that rod and bending that rod. And as you can see, I'm holding that piston with my hand as I'm tapping on it, and it shall come right out for you. No big deal. I'm putting all new bearings in the um, connecting rod anyway, so don't worry about tearing those up. If you know they do make special tools for doing this stuff. So there you go, that's number two cylinder. Finally, I'll get the last one out off camera. Okay, now that we got the pistons off, I'll mic these later. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys in a video. It's pretty simple. I think they're 69.74, or Okay, rotate it over. Now, there's going to be some different size bolts on here. So when you put this back together, you're going to have different lengths. You're going to want to make sure you pay attention to all that stuff. You're going to have your 214s in the front and the back, I believe. It's going to be 14, 14s, I believe. If I remember correctly so let's get these out this whole crankcase is filled with oil guys so what the hell is going on with that and these should have uh, I'm assuming thread sealer on them I'll verify that in the video when we're putting it back together exactly everything I'm gonna use and how I'm gonna do it let me get the right size socket for the rest of these. We'll get that opened up and we'll get the crank out. The rest of these are going to be 12 millimeters. Get them all backed out. Like I said, guys, you could pay attention to your lengths on these, but we'll worry about that when we put it back together. There is manuals online. I mean, obviously, bolts are going to be longer where your holes are longer kind of a good way to remember it you know you'll know when you put them back in there if they're right or not and we're gonna go over all the torque specs for you guys everything cleaning this parts wash everything how I'm gonna put it back together all the new parts we're gonna make some nice videos out of this this can be a bugger to get out got thread sealer and stuff on them so 
You might have to work with them a little bit, fight with them, I should say. Not work with them, fight with them. You can see the thread sealer is coming loose as I'm pulling on them. There you go. Now, once we get that opened up, now we got to get the crank out of this thing. <clears throat> And when I'm putting this back together, I want to mention to you guys right now in this video, this whole workbench is going to be clean. I'm going to have a brand new clean towel. When you're putting a motor together, you want extreme cleansiness. You want everything to be as clean as it can. Don't have your old lady, like mine sometimes like to, likes to do, out there trying to mow the damn lawn when you're over here putting this back together, kicking up all that dust. Okay, this is probably going to be 1211 bonded on this, which is going to be a kind of pain in the ass to get split so let me get uh let me get started on it off camera and i'll explain to you guys how i did it i don't want to tear nothing up it's hard to video and do it so let me get a split all right guys it was a good thing checking this over before i tried to split it there is more bolts this bottom side 100 percent my fault uh one other thing i should have done too guys there is a drain right here. I could have drained all that oil out of the crankcase. Now it's on my workbench. Not thinking. I'm just being an idiot. And you got a 10 millimeter right here on the back side of that starter. I believe that's got to come out too. Let me get that out and then this case should decently pull apart. Okay, this is on the mag side right here. Put a screwdriver right here. I didn't tap on it. And I just rolled the screwdriver a little bit like that on both sides. Didn't go crazy. It's just aluminum. And there you go. Now the case should be split. Watch your rods. Obviously your crank seals are gonna be glued in too with 1211 on this side. So you're going to have to uh, get those out, or not get those out, but break the bond. And uh, I'm sure there's probably dowel pins. So we'll just keep working at her a little bit. Applying pressure on it. Kind of shaking it a little bit. It's this crank seal. Let me uh, figure out how I'm going to get this side loosened up and then I'll show you when I pull it apart. What I did is I took my leather mallet and I just gently, out like that, gave it a few taps. And uh, part she came for me. So there you go. Here's your case. And I wanted to show you guys. I know somewhere in here, might not, well, right here. See that? You melt down pistons like that? Metal. Get metal in there so if you want to just go ahead and throw a top end on this thing well good for you that ain't the right way to do it it's the right and the wrong way that's the wrong way look at how much metal I'll show you guys is in between right here the seal and the crank bearing just full of crap this thing is blowing up so fast on you after you did that rebuild so now we got to get the crank out like I said, the seals are going to be glued in, so I might have to work the seals free before I can pull this crank. Uh, let me see what I can do here, and I'll show you lifting it out as soon as I get it loosened up, and I'll explain. What I did is rotated this upside down very carefully, so I'm not banging the rods all to hell. And I was able to lift the case right off the top of it. Look at all the metal. I mean, look at this, guys. Just shit loads of metal in here down in here i did notice there's a couple spots where the crank rides on the top cover i'll show you guys real quick i'm running out of room i also got a cold brewski when you do a job like this right here if you look closely you can see where some metal got in there I think it's going to be okay. I'm not sure. I'll probably reach out to a couple buddies that really know their stuff and ask. I think I can smooth it out. And uh, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Check my crank bearings while we're in here. Just give them a wiggle. Well, <laughs> well so... That's the end of that, guys. I need a crank. God bless it. Look at this crank bearing's bad. That's where all your metal came from. You can hear it shaking it. So, I'm going to order a crank. Wrap it up for that video. I want to say thanks for watching. 
stay tuned i got a crank coming those cases i'm not even screwing with them i bought different cases uh, so like i said we're gonna get this piece of piece of junk running uh we'll do what it takes to show you guys how to hone the cylinders uh show you guys how to rebuild the carbs i was hoping to get it together this weekend that is not gonna happen so we'll probably do a nice carb video this weekend get them all built get them ready to go get the rest of that haul start getting that cleaned up and we'll take it from there guys so stay tuned like comment subscribe